잘 빠졌다. 첨가물이 잘 빠졌다. 로드다. 야, yeah, so these guys have a lot of respect for each other. They've known each other for a very long time. In Jay La, the champion said that he was first taught wrestling. You know, he was first taught the double leg tackle by Hei Jun Yang. So Hei Jun is really a senior in that department, right? He he has all this experience, and so In Jay just really kind of looks up to him as well. Really respects him, even if Hei Jun is still younger than In Jay. Yeah, that's yeah. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. You wouldn't know it by looking uh -huh. at these guys. It's difficult to tell how old uh -huh. they are, really. I mean, I was surprised. Uh -huh. I mean, I'm the, I'm the same age as uh -huh. Hei, Jun, uh -huh. Hei Jun Yang. I, I thought he was much older than me. Uh -huh. Perhaps it's the, uh, the hair. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell him I said that. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, he hasn't been around for a long time. He started out as a openweight fighter. Now he's middleweight. Yeah, real first generation fighter. Mm -hmm. Fought back in the day at Spirit MC. Hejun being very careful. Whoa. Oh, nice. Right uh, connected by Inje. Yeah, beautiful right hook counter from Inje. And he's showing good wrestling defense here in the early stages of round one. Mm -hmm. Inje coming in and out. Yeah, he I connects a few shots and gets out. Hejun uh -huh. was kind of surprised at how well mm -hmm. Inje defended that takedown. Mm -hmm. I think you're going to see a lot of wrestling exchanges uh -huh. in this fight. Very high level wrestling here. hejun has got a nice uh -huh. deep grip on that single leg. And, and Inje's Inje. defending it so well. Yeah, Inje's just pushing that head down. Yeah, the textbook defense of the takedown. And he's getting lower. Yeah, he's getting lower. Pummeling. He's got that underhook too. Uh -huh. He's got one pummel in. Actually, defending it so well. Yeah. Hejun's going to waste a lot of energy. Textbook. Take down ch challenge. Yeah, Hedrin switched to the other side now. Uh -huh. Eventually almost gets him down and works towards the back now. Inje almost grabbed the fence there instinctively. Inje gets his butt to the cage side, not to be taken down. 
Oh, and he's just... Again, but Inge's, yeah, again, Inge's going to the cage side. He's just going to waste a lot of energy here. He should stop doing it. Yeah, Hedge is just really trying to show him who's boss, I think, here yeah, in this wrestling putting, exchange. He's putting everything here. Yeah, he's using a lot of energy. This is not good for Hedge. And we all know Inje Lars got stamina. He can go deep into fights, into the final rounds, and just keep working. Yeah, one of the Inje's weaknesses is that he walks. He doesn't have the footwork. Inje said. Yeah. Tonight, he was going to show us some of his uh, stand-up ability. I mean, originally, he was a kickboxer. Uh -huh. He said he was going to display that tonight, but so far, it's just been a wrestling uh -huh. battle. Inje has the back. Hedgen just prized uh -huh. off the hands there. And they push away after that long wrestling exchange. Both guys taking the center of the cage. And both throw the right hand at the same time. Yeah, without the setups. <laughs> yeah. Hedgens <laughs> trying to use short jabs here. He doesn't look so confident in uh, his striking. He's kind of flinching as he throws those shots. Inje's got the Muay Thai clinch there just momentarily. He's got his back against the fence again. Hedgens pressuring him. He's got the head control. Trying to get his head under the chin of Inje La, the champion. Yeah, very good control there by Hedgen. Very good head control there, but Inje's out. Yeah, he just circled yeah. off the fence. <laughs> this is a very high level cage wrestling here. Yeah, both these guys so strong as well. I mean, look at Inje, he's just so cut. Mm -hmm. He's in great shape. This is first defense of the middleweight championship. Mm -hmm. Hedgen connected a little shots there to the head of Inje. Yeah, Inje's got that Muay Thai clinch, but uh, Hedgen's just yeah, It's really hard relentless. to bring the head down. Yeah, he's just throwing those hooks to the body, so Inje just gives up in the end. Mm -hmm. Inje with a kick to the body. A nice stiff jab. Hedgen used a lot of his, think his fingers a lot. Oh, Inje connected a few good shots there to the head of Hedgen. Yeah, Hedgen with the over-under, looking to try Whoa, to make a connection, but leg trip there Inge, by Inge. Yeah, just throws him to the ground. So Hedgen's up right away. Hedgen's not a joke in this game. He knows how to defend it, but he might get gassed out because he tried too many of those slams and takedowns. Yeah, early on in this round, uh, Hedgen grabs the fence there, and the referee calls time. Should have been a takedown there, and Hedgen prevented it by grabbing the fence. Inje looks the stronger of the two to me. You know, he looks in better physical shape. He's so far been able to stuff that takedown. Hedgen's got a warning. No point deduction, but if he does it one more time, definitely he's going to lose a point. Yeah, I think he was lucky to get off lightly there. Mm -hmm. As you mentioned, yeah, Inje is the stronger one of the two and the one with more stamina. Yeah, we've seen Inje, especially in the last bout, you know, when he won the championship, he can go all the way, and he keeps working right until the final seconds of a bout. Maybe he's not as exciting as Chung Young Lee, but he can do this all night long. Yeah, that's right, and he's got good side position here, looking to control the legs at the same time. He already have two points for the takedowns. Yep, he's working towards the back now, and Hedren's back to his feet. Inje took a short rest. Yeah, wow, this is just going to turn into a real battle of uh, stamina. You know, who can, yeah. who's got the gas? Who's got the gas tank to go the full distance? I think that's going to decide this fight. You know, who's going to burn out first? Yeah, both guys get their cornerman working on him now. Adrian looks kind of gassed out. Yeah, yeah, as you said, I think he used a lot of energy really uh -huh. on it, early on in that fight, determined to get that takedown, the single leg, and the uh, takedown from the back position as well. And there was uh, Inche with that beautiful leg trip and throw. Whoa, yeah, high level wrestling there. Inche, of course, has... Uh, Changse Park, the wrestling coach in his corner, giving him advice.
course, the wrestling exchanges are going to get harder now as mm -hmm. both guys get sweaty. It's going to get slipperier in there. Inje takes the center of the cage and his corner are telling him to be first, to get in there first and strike. A body kick by Inje. Oh, oh it's a low it blow, but so yeah, Inje that's what just, I thought. just going forward. Oh, he's doesn't just care. rolling with it, yeah. Maybe he has iron cup or something. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> we heard that. Uh -huh, we heard it, yeah. And Inje goes back to that Muay Thai clinch. Inje walks forward. He doesn't have a beautiful footwork, but he's going forward at a continuously increasing rate. Yeah, both these guys are not uh -huh. the fastest of fighters. Uh -huh. I mean, they're not the greatest of movers, but they just keep going forward uh -huh. relentless, you know, just kind of drudging forward. Inje, uh, Hedren connected little shots to the head, but... What's going on here? Let us stop there. Mm -hmm. Have to see the replay. I think it's for the low blow, uh -huh. looking at the referee there. Yeah, Inja doesn't care though. Yeah, we're going back straight at it. There's the striking, what Inja was talking about. Inje La, the champion, recently married, was saying that uh, today is his wife's birthday. So he's got to yeah. bring home the uh, victory. Uh -huh. If not, he'll be sleeping outside tonight. Uh -huh. <laughs> and that sweep. Came up back. Wow, he just oh, it's really dangerous that situation. That was a big mistake there from La Oh, this is not good. Yeah, Hedren. Oh, Hedren knows how to hold on to the back. Yeah, he doesn't good. fall. Great uh -huh. Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Uh -huh. A lot of experience, a lot of time yeah. spent in Japan, you know, training with some really high-level technicians. Mm -hmm. If Inje if falls down, Hedren has a great chance to, chance to choke out the opponent. Yeah, he knows what to do from this position. Inje is trying to turn. But yeah, Hedren knows how, how to hold on to him. Yeah, Inje really should try to go to the other side. The choke's on this side. Hedgen wants him there. Uh huh. Hedgen is on the right side. Yep. He has his arms in the right position. It's a matter of time if Inje doesn't do anything. Hedgen just follows him there. Yeah. He's gonna get try to get full mount position now. This is even worse. Yeah, Inje's on his back. This is not good. Can he survive? Oh. Can Inje? Survive this encounter Inge's on the ground survive. with Hejun Yang. Inje's gotta, Inge gotta survive this to win this fight. Yeah, at the moment they're both hand fighting. Hejun's looking for that grip around the mm -hmm. neck of Inje, the champion. Oh, Inje's wasting a lot of energy here. He's yeah, when you're in a survival mode, in a really bad position, you, you use a lot of your power to survive. That's right, yeah, use a lot of power and also your breathing. It just gets uh -huh. out of rhythm, right? Right. It's going to be breathing heavy, trying to escape out of this difficult position. Hedgen's got the body lock on him as well. Mm -hmm. And he works and back into full mount. Transitions beautifully from that position as soon as he thinks Inje La's about to turn. Oh, Hedgen has wasted a lot of energy doing the takedown tries. Now it's Inje who spent a lot of energy surviving this. This yep. is not good for Inje. The referee's telling Inje to move. He's in a lot of trouble right now. He's taking relentless punishment from Inje Hei Jun Yang. Uh -huh. Inje might lose here. He's Inje taking a lot out. of shots. The referee's looking closely. He's telling him to move. Oh my God. That's it. The referee called it. One mistake. And it, it cost him. Wow. Just one mistake cost him everything. That's right. When he went for that leg trip and he gave him his back, that was all Hedgen needed. He just jumped on that opportunity and he wasn't letting go of that position, that back position. Yeah, the veteran didn't need a second chance. He need one that one of that chance to win the fight. A lot wow. of respect between these two guys. It took a long time for Hedgen to take that title.
Yeah, Hedrun's finally in the place where he wants to be. He's got that belt now around his waist. He was the veteran tonight, now 13 and six in the cage. He's been waiting a long time to get this belt. He's overcome a lot of obstacles as well. A good few injuries which have kept him out of the game for, for some time. Injay La falls at his first title defense here. Injay had the better of the wrestling exchanges, but at the end of the day, it was Hejun Yang's BJJ prowess that just came out on top. There was the mistake, the leg trip, the failed leg trip from Inche La, which cost him the title. Hedgen took the back and then from then on, he, he was never letting Inche back to his feet. Posse, Hedrun Yan is taking the win by a TKO second round. As soon as he got the back of Inje La, that was all he needed. That was the one opportunity, and he took it. Tai Bazotta. Tangamuri, Tai Bazotta. Loaded up.